when did you kind of figure out that you were going to be that guy, and what's it mean to you? Um, I don't know that you really ever have it figured out until they tell you. Um, you know, coming into a new organization, you kind of never, never really know. Um, I don't know all about these guys, how they pitched last year, how they finished. You know, where they see these guys in the future. You know, I'm still learning some of that. So, um, and they, you know, they think about pitching matchups. They think about the rotation. You know, where you put Urban, where you put different guys. Like so, it's never something I feel like you uh, you assume that's going to happen. Um, but I mean, I've only done it once in my career. So, and I only got one or two outs. So, uh, you know, getting another chance at it. Um, I don't think it means. You know, hey, ace, and anything like that. Like, I don't look into that. You know, I don't. I think there's maybe 15 aces in the league. There's not 30. So um, for me, it's just a chance to start a series off. And I think that first game of every series is really important, whether it's the first series of the year or, or even in Texas. I mean, that first guy really kind of sets the tone for how that bullpen is used the next three games. You know, until the next off day, especially. And, and um, so I, I think for me, it's just trying to go out there and and um, you know, be a veteran leader and, and try to uh, you know, set the tone for that first series of the year. It's not that often that guys coming from outside an organization get to be the, the opening day starter. Did, uh, did you think about that at all? Honestly, I haven't. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, to not worry too much about any of it, really, and trying to, to focus on the work every day. And, and I understand that, you know, the, the September I had didn't, you know, wasn't how I wanted to pitch last year. So there's certain things I want to get better at and worrying way less about where I'm going to pitch in the rotation and more about how I'm going to pitch whenever I get the chance. So, um, you know, it works out this time that I get to throw the first one and, and it does mean a lot. I don't want to downplay that because it is cool. Um, you know, I've only been uh, in uniform one time my entire career on the first day of the season. So it's a big deal. You know, it's, it's fun to be on the field for that first game. Um, but it's not necessarily something that I came here and said, okay, I want to work to be the opening day guy. You know, I, I knew that there were things that I wanted to get better at along the way um, to make sure that over 30 starts, you know, I was pitching how I want to pitch. How did you approach starting opening day a couple of years ago, and maybe how are you going to approach it this time? Um, similarity to now, um, you know, I, in Texas, you know, you, once again, I kind of saw, you know, maybe the, the writing on the wall being, you know, the, the veteran guy there at the time. and. Um, you know, so I think it uh, it's a similar approach for me here. You know, trying to not make too much of it. Hopefully that first time that I've done it, you can get uh, some of the extra nerves out. But I don't know, I have a little bit of anxiety and nerves every start. So it's you figure out how to use that and you figure out how to use that adrenaline in the right way. And um, you know, hopefully that first experience gives me a little bit of a, a learning curve to do a little bit better this time. Pulling up from there? Uh, it's exactly right. <laughs> it's exactly right. I think. Uh, after one start, I might have had the biggest drop in ERA from one start to number two. So uh, we'll see if we can avoid that this time. When you got the news, did you tell anybody? Did you contact your family or anything? Yeah, you know, texted uh, texted my wife and and uh, called some family that were trying to figure out you know which game in right. Boston they wanted to come to. So wasn't really able to share the news, uh, you know, because of the delay. So I kind of had to keep it, you know, uh, quiet. But. Um, had some family that was trying to make some plans, so uh, <laughs> hopefully nobody gets too mad. But I had to had to give them a heads up. The last time that you talked to us, you, know, you said that you and some of the other pitchers talk about how good this defense is. Does it give you confidence when you're pitching in, in front of a, a young defense that you can pick it like this one can? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think it gives us a lot of uh, freedom and conviction when you're making pitches, especially behind in the count. Um, you know, if for me when I go into a scouting report, there are certain things that I look for. So. Um, you know, being a ground ball pitcher, that's one thing I look for is where's my ground ball pitch. Um, and if I'm in a count where I'm behind in the count, you know, I think, you know, these guys, you know, being able to run around the outfield and, and really pick it on the infield gives me the confidence to say, all right, you know, let's let's get this ball in the zone here, throw a pitch with conviction that can lead to a, a weak contact or result on the ground and, and let them do their job. How much of the defense was that a pitch for you to, to come here and, and to be excited to pitch in front of the defense like yeah, this? Yeah, I mean, I, it was something I looked at, but, you know, I don't want this to, to sound like a negative to the Phillies at all, right? You know, the Phillies were constructed a different way and, you know, nothing against them because obviously I had a lot of fun. Um, but, you know, when looking at a team, you know, the teams that were in the mix, yeah, I mean, it was it was definitely a, a thing that I looked at, you know. they're. A couple teams that were very close to, to this setup, to, to this trending, and to you know, where the team was at, and you know defense, and and um, you know just a, a lot of it went into it. But yeah, absolutely, that was something that I looked at for sure. Yeah, so I'm excited to announce that uh, Kyle Gibson's going to be our opening day starter, and uh, it was fun to uh, break the news to him a few days ago. And uh, he's, this is this is going to be his second one, and 
what a great honor, and he's earned every bit of it. And, um, and we're really happy to have him, and I'm happy to. He's going to be out there for opening day. How far along were you in camp before you realized this is going to be the guy, or was it even before that? Well, I mean, just if you look at our rotation, we have some guys that don't have a whole lot of years in. Kyle's the obvious choice from a, a year standpoint and a veteran on the, on the, in the pitching staff and the rotation. Um, but we kind of wanted to see what, what everybody looked like, honestly, and just didn't make any snap decisions. But I think as camp went along, it kind of was pretty obvious. What's the benefit of having a guy that has been around the league, kind of knows how to handle the, the pressure that probably comes with opening day a little bit? Yeah, and, and done it before, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's always helpful. And, um, He's, you know, he's pitched in some pressure situations and, and handled things extremely well. And, and, uh, so yeah, he's earned it. Has he been everything you thought he would be? And more, and more. Uh, heard great things. I had some friends with the Phillies last year uh, that that said extremely positive things about him, and and uh, they're dead on. He's a total class act. Great leader in the clubhouse. Great leader of uh, one of our great leaders in our club. And, um, he's a good starting pitcher as well, so it's been it's been fun to have him. From a pitching standpoint, did he surprise you at all? I mean, I, like you said, you had all the reports about his leadership. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, he's pitched pretty well for you guys. So far. Yeah, no, I remember him in, when we faced him in Texas a couple of years ago. He carved us up, you know, in, te in Texas, and um, so you saw the stuff. He's been an all-star before, and um, you take out September last year, he had a nice year. So um, no, nothing surprised me performance-wise. No walks in 14 innings. We'll take that. Yeah. Yeah.